Hello and welcome to another episode of Muddy River Mixology Monday, where each week we introduce a new rum cocktail using one of our amazing award-winning rums. We've got a special holiday episode for you guys today. This is Jeff. I'm Robbie. Jeff, what are we doing today? Today we are making the spiked eggnog. Nice, nice. From scratch. I'm looking forward to this one. You got a killer recipe, so. Yeah, it should be good. Let's really get good. this thing going. What's step one, dudes? Our first step of eggnog is eggs, obviously. Um, so we have our eggs here. We're gonna start with four eggs All right. and just the yolks. So I'm gonna separate these here. Um, Are you seasoned in the separation of eggs or is this a new thing for you? You know, this is a new thing for me. I do have chickens at my house, um, however, um, I don't ever, I just eat all the eggs together. I don't ever separate Yeah, them. I never do it either. You look like you've done it before. You know, I've watched a video and that was about it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to know that with no experience, you can just do it. All right. We've separated the yolks from the egg whites. Um, set all this to the side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, our sugar, which is a half cup of sugar to it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix this up. So while I'm doing this, what you can do uh, with our second pot here on yeah. the saucepan is turn it to medium and, uh, and add our, our milk. Our milk is the big one. We're using for this two cups of milk. Yeah, that's whole milk. Just make it extra creamy. You know, eggnog's a pretty creamy drink, so. Yeah, no skim milk here. No skim milk for these guys. <laughs> and what we're also gonna do, um, where I add the cinnamon as well, which is a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna eyeball. You cinnamon. can eyeball it. Oh, you ever do the cinnamon challenge? I've never done it, have you? <laughs> On next episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have. I failed. Yeah? But Did one of my friends. Up? Yeah, threw up immediately. Came out my nose, it was a nightmare. <laughs> but our friend Corinne, she did it. Wow. She did the challenge. Wow. And it's technique. She had the technique. She down. did the whole, she completed the challenge. She completed it. Yeah. That's impressive. It took her like 30 minutes. Yeah. But she got the whole thing down. <laughs> it's gross. Anyway, uh, I got the cinnamon and the milk in there. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this uh, warmed up until it is um, steaming, but not boiling. Okay. And we're back. You added a hat and we're back. A hat? A hat. A who? It's Santa. Okay, so now that we're starting to steam, you see the steam coming off the right here? Yeah, it's steaming pretty good. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add half of this milk slowly back to the uh, egg yolks. And what we're doing is we're tempering. We want to introduce the two slowly rather than just flashing it all together because of chemical reactions and things like that. We don't want to cook the eggs you put in there, right? We don't want to cook the eggs, doing. yeah. You don't want a scrambled egg eggnog. That would be weird. I turn this pot down to, this is where I'm gonna have you stir. Um, and I'm gonna add this, um, I'm gonna add this mixture back to it. So we're gonna look for thickening at this point in time. And then we're gonna start monitoring the temperature. Isn't it cool that we're using the same hot plate that we heat the wax to seal Queen Charlotte uh -huh. with? This is the same hot plate we use to heat up the wax for all of the wax drippings on the Queen Charlotte. Yeah, we just, all right, that's right about it, huh? All right, 170 there. Now we'll turn off the heat and we will remove it from the heat. Once it cools down to room temperature, we'll put it in the uh, refrigerator. And chill it. And chill it out, yep. Nice, because nobody wants to drink warm, warm eggnog. Not unless it's summertime. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Now what? Now we, uh, now we wait. Now we drink. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> all right, we're back. We're back. So we've let this cool down a little bit. It's not quite room temperature yet. No, but it's cooling down. Um, so at this point in time, what we can do is we can actually add in our heavy cream, mm -hmm. uh, which is one cup of heavy cream. Mm, that's thick. Yeah, it is thick, and that'll help cool it down as well. Um, kind of get us right there to our room temperature. 
So here's our ground nutmeg from a local spice shop. Yeah, I love those guys over there at uh, Savory and Spice. Yeah. Is that what ladies is there? Yeah, a little bit more. You can do nutmeg to taste. Nutmeg, I think, is the key, one of the key ingredients. That and egg, obviously, for eggnog. Yeah. Uh, that really makes this drink uh, what it is. Yeah, what it is. Like, nutmeg is the like aroma. Like sweater. It, we're, you, that's what we're going for. You're huh? going for nutmeg today. I was going to say, <laughs> you look good. Thanks. Matching, you look good, too. Matching the drink today. I always look good. Yeah, you look like a big glass of eggnog already. Uh, we're going to add the vanilla in. Yep. A little bit of vanilla. Also to taste, but a teaspoon is what we're putting teaspoon. in Teaspoon, yep, that's about plenty. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yep, just to taste. And now that this is down to room temp, we'll go ahead and chill the eggnog, and we'll chill it for however long it needs, but my guess is probably about two hours. So yeah, we'll come back with it, and then we'll add our Queen Charlotte to it, and, uh, and yeah, drink it. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. You smell it? It smells great. It does smell great. And we're back. It's been a few hours. We've yeah. let this thing chill out in the fridge, so it's all ready for us to get after. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into the uh, into the glasses here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, nice. These are big coffee mugs, but they look big, good. Yeah, big mugs, but. All right, and now it's time to add the liquor. So at this point, you can serve this as a family drink. Yep. But if we add the liquor to it, that's mm, for us. That's the best part. That's why we're doing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So for this drink, we are using Queen Charlotte's Reserve, our awesome award-winning barrel-aged rum. Really love this stuff. It is so good, my favorite. We're gonna go heavy. Let's go heavy, let's go two ounce. Two ounces. Whoa, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Oh yeah. Yeah, that makes nice. Something about that just made the drink more appealing. Missed the buck on that one a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'll give these things a nice stir. Looking good. That was the secret ingredient right there, the Queen Charlotte Reserve. <laughs> I'm gonna whip cream this thing. Whoa. Careful now. All right, boss. I think yeah, give me a give me a little decorative uh, oh, yeah. sprinkle. Yeah, got some just for me here. Oh, it's perfect. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> that looks good. All right, some nutmeg. Oh, oh wow! In. Look at that. Look at that straw. It's perfect. Did you ask for anything more? That's it, that's Christmas. That's it. That's it. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Recipe, all that jazz will be in the description below, along with links to our website and uh, stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video, like us, subscribe to the, the Muddy River Mixology channel, and don't forget you can come out here and take a tour of our facility and try our awesome rums. Cheers, and happy holidays. Cheers, friend. Cheers, bud. You look like eggnog. I am egg. <laughs> <laughs> to make this drink, you must be one with the eggnog. My eggnog sweater. It really matches, yeah. This was a, a different color. <laughs> I just drank so much eggnog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a camera here. We should probably make a drink. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, today, what we're going to be doing is. <laughs> Wait, let me put my pants on. <laughs> Don't put those in there. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> Power thirst, more egg yolks, more eggs. babies. <laughs> Today we make you a 4th of July eggnog <laughs> because after you drink it on a hot summer day, it's like the 4th of July in your Milk. <laughs> milk, 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 milk. <laughs> milk, silky milk. That's really milky. It's just so much milk. That is a lot of milk. Lots of milk. Stop saying milk. <laughs> oh, I got a case of the giggles right now. I don't know. I think it looks ready to drink. All right. <laughs> what is it, my face? <laughs> All right. And we're back. <laughs> well, guys, we've let this stuff chill out over a few hours we're in the back. fridge. We're not back. We're not we're back. Not give, back. Me, give me a second here. <laughs> Have you ever done the egg white challenge? No, what's that? Where you drink the four egg whites? Oh, you should do that. Let's no, see. I think uh, I've already done it. I've already completed it. If you haven't done it, you need to do it. <laughs>